the poopy man just shit himself. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swearsies, it's just a fact and it's totally science. Uh, go ahead and look it up. Whoa! <laughs> Today we're diving back into r slash uh, neckbeard stories. Yes! As if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail, this is uh, another episode of Chris Trucker. Mommy Honker Donker's been shoving these things out at least one a week, and I gotta give him a round of applause. Definitely one of the favorite series on the channel at the moment, although I will admit that that is a pretty low bar that's been set by Velveeta Beard and, and Pizza Hut Beard and El Cid, like... There's a whole lot of shit going on, too. I mean, I do get mad at the OPs, which people seem to enjoy. Sort of brings the story back around, but I really just want a beard that I can hate and an OP that I can love. Can we do that? Apparently we can. Mommy Honker Dockers is making it happen, and uh, bless him for that much. Really cool dude. Talk to him quite a little bit through the old Twitter. And yes, he says much, much more to come, so... Who knows, this compilation could go on for quite a while and I'm ready for it. So let's go ahead, get some plugs, disclaimers out of the way, and then we will dive right into some of this neckbeard stories a cringe. Also, hey, we live stream this on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash Dayton Does. If you'd like to join us at some point in the future, if you find the time to hang out, then that'd be cool. Do consider this your official engraved invitation. Thank you so much. So, my co-pilot is Neckbeard number seven. Yeah, keeping up that, that titling. Sure, why not? <laughs> hey there, gang. Can't wait to hear Red X cover this one. Oh. Oh, it's starting. It's going right now. This post was 16 hours ago as I'm reading it. So yes, I front loaded this. Yes, we are getting into it as soon as possible because I can't keep my people waiting. It's freshest daily cringe content. Like not here's some cringe content from a month ago, right? I'm out here trying to do the most or, you know, some approximation thereof. <laughs> I got a little bit of time to write again, so let's get into it and talk about Chris. God, Chris is a mess. God, I just love to hate him. Yes, let's talk about Chris. Do I want to? Uh, only the most sadistic part of my mind wants us to. <laughs> but that's the part that's in control. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> uh, who is Chris? Well, Chris is a very fat and sweaty man. Surrounded by an impenetrable aura of poopy coom stinky stank. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> his sole joys in life consist of lot lizards, crystal meth, and anime. <laughs> Why not? Him and I both work for a trucking company, a major one, and Chris and I take turns driving the company big rig down the road. Things are usually okay when Chris is driving, Usually, okay. Has he never tried to polish the bishop as he's driving the big rig? I mean, I could say a lot of stuff about Chris, but at least he's never tried to do that, all right? <laughs> uh, he would if, if OP let him, though, I'm pretty sure. If it was socially acceptable, he'd be the first one. <laughs> the fun mostly begins when I take the wheel, and he's free to do... Whatever the hell it is that Chris wants to do. And then the battle usually begins. For a long time, he would head to the back of the truck, insisting that he needed to clean up. Yeah, clean his pipes, that is. Yeah, you gotta get the poison out. Every two hours, minimum. <laughs> hey, you guys feel like playing some baseball? Excuse me, I'm gonna go masturbate. <laughs> you have an addiction and it's sad to watch. If you were not such a disgusting, manipulative human being, I might actually feel a bit more bad for him. But it is what it is. Sometimes he would shower at truck stops, which really just means that he wants to pull over and jack off. <laughs> and Chris is perhaps the only person I know who could come back from a shower stall smelling even worse. 
He doesn't even put up like a pretense of trying to shower. Spray yourself with some of that patented neck beard axe body spray or something like that. For God's sake, try and fool me, would you? <laughs> I have tried everything that I can to get him into another truck, to get him fired, to get him to stop doing the things that he does. But every day, it's just a continuous struggle. <laughs> uh, I'm totally picturing like Bill Murray Groundhog's Day right now. <laughs> just so not give a fuck because it's always the same thing forever. How can you care anymore? The real kicker is that to this very day, I still have to ride with Chris. Oh, it's not over. It's never over. And they have a long history together. And it hasn't gotten all that much better, from what I hear. Also, I believe someone asked a question about the poopy cum man's ratio of poopy to cum in regards to our last installment. And I figured that I would answer. Oh my god, I totally knew you'd answer, Honker Dockers. That's why I asked the question in the video. <laughs> Uh, now we're getting down to some real science, and I love it. During the days of struggle, Chris had admittedly not coomed as much, so it can certainly be said that the poopy became more prevalent than the coom. <laughs> uh, this is so ridiculous. If I had to specify the precise ratio, I would reckon that we were probably dealing with a ratio of about 80% poopy to 20% cum. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's four to one, isn't it? You would think that the cum ratio would be lower, considering he wasn't able to jerk off, but that needs to be qualified, because it's more apropos to say that he couldn't jerk off as much. He still did. Oh lord, did he ever! Principally in the truck stop showers. And I guarantee he never actually bathed after that, so yeah, that stink did come with him. Oh god, dude, why would you not, like, shoot it down the drain or something? Are you just jerking it directly into your pants? <laughs> I hate it! Why? Every day, we stray further from God's light. <laughs> uh, uh. Ultimately, it was just a subtle kumi accent to his poopy. <laughs> Make of that what you will. I'll say this too. When I first started driving with him, however, I would say that that balance was certainly different. His cum certainly outweighed his poopy in droves because... Let's face it, he would jerk off way more than he would poop. <laughs> uh, uh, this is why I never talk about what I do. People are like, what do you do for a living? I talk about the poopy coom man on the internet. <laughs> uh, nope, nope, I, I'm not going there. I'll do it for your guys' enjoyment, but it will always be a deep source of shame for me. <laughs> Uh, Jesus Christ. I'd reckon during those days, we were dealing with about a 75 to 20 split. Oh, four to one the other way. In more recent memory, however, the balance of his aura has shifted once more, definitely in favor of a poopy preponderance. <laughs> uh, oh, it's so good. I hate it, but I just can't stop. Please give me more! <laughs> well, it was a day, just like any other, and the poopy cum man insisted that he had to take us out of Portland, Oregon that fine spring day because, and I quote, I drive like a woman, and I would allegedly wreck his house, and I just shrugged my shoulders and said, Whatever, Chris, just drive the goddamn truck. I would like it when he drives the goddamn truck because then I don't have to deal with whatever the hell it is that he wants to do in the back. 
Although, eventually, he will have to stop driving the truck, and yeah, inevitabilities, I suppose. I still have a lot of questions about why he's so protective about the- Is, is this a company-owned truck, and he calls it his house? Sad, if anything. <laughs> So he filled out his pre-haul forms, put on his podcast, and shouted, Yanni Parker! <laughs> As we drove down the road through the gorgeous emerald valleys of Oregon towards California. They wouldn't last long, however, as we had to make our way far south and across the desert to Amarillo, Texas. Yeah, that's quite a haul, isn't it? It might actually be a cool job, like a nice way to see the country. Unfortunately, from Kevin and a Big Rig saga and Chris Trucker saga, I've decided that I'm never going to get talked into this ever in life. <laughs> it seems nice, you know, leave and see the country, and it turns into a nightmare. That's how they got me with the Navy. They're like, join the Navy, see the world. I mean, I did see Japan on the two days that I had off. Uh, and the other rest of my time was just in a post office. But the post office was in Japan. Yeah, that doesn't help. <laughs> I hated it. I'm out now. I'm, I'm traveling for myself. Don't trust the company to do anything on your behalf, I guess is what I mean to say. Anyways, we took off down the interstate. And I ignored the existence of that deplorable scumbag beside me. <laughs> Uh, seems like you're coming in a little hot, you know? I understand that you hate him, but is there finally going to be, like, an understanding, at least? Some sort of breaking point that, that possibly brings cooperation? Maybe. <laughs> Fingers still crossed. Things were going well enough. We were making good enough time, despite heavy traffic and a couple of collisions within the city limits. Oh yeah, gotta love them rubberneckers. It was about somewhere north of Redding, California that Chris and I did the usual song and dance. <laughs> you know how this one goes, right? Sing along, you know the words. <laughs> His shift had come to a close and it was my turn to take the wheel on that blessed hell ride. We pull over at a travel plaza about lunchtime to trade seats. Before we got back on the road that fine day, however, I figured, yeah, what the hell? We were already at the truck stop, feeling hungry, and they had perfectly good food inside. We could stop for some lunch. I mean, you have to eat lunch with that guy? Somehow I've just lost my appetite. <laughs> Tell him he can go do whatever the hell he wants. I'm gonna get some lunch without you. Let's just pretend we don't know each other. Wouldn't that be fun? Let's role play as complete strangers. <laughs> Go way over there, please, thank you. Ugh. But Chris and I moseyed on up to the truck stop and went inside. And I looked over all the usual offerings. Moseyed on up. Oh, honker donkers. <laughs> uh, he sure does love to mosey, doesn't he, guys? <laughs> uh, the best part is I'm sure he's completely serious about that. This boy would never mosey ironically. <laughs> Beautiful. I got myself a pizza and a soda. It was the do. I'm in it for the memes sometimes. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a good night, yo. <laughs> you the realest, how huh, good doggers. I buy Mountain Dew for the meme as well. Wifey's like, what do you want from the store? I'm like, Coke. She said, they don't have Coke. I'm like, all right, get some Dew. That's fine. I'll drink it on stream. Nobody will be surprised. <laughs> While Chris, disappointed that this place didn't peddle tendies, decided to browse the deli case instead. He grabbed his desired meal, most notably which contained a questionable tuna salad sandwich, a couple liter bottles of Mountain Dew, and a family bag of Doritos. Coom Ranch, anyone? <laughs> She look busting on God on God respectfully. Uh, Coom Ranch Doritos. Can we make that a t-shirt? God damn. <laughs> so fucking funny. Uh, oh, I was expecting dude to just buy like a grip of deli meats and eat them off of his gigantic stomach while shirtless. 
<laughs> That's what I like to do. That's my beardery peeking out right there. <laughs> As we were about to leave, Chris told me that uh, he, he was going to get a shower. To which I responded with a sharp, no, we did not have time for it today. He just gave me a coon brain scowl <laughs> as we paid for our stuff. And he tucked tail and decided to just head back with me to the big rig because I was getting ready to precipitate hell on earth. There is some tension going on between you guys recently. I thought the days of struggle were behind us. What's going on here? What's the precursor to all this? I thought you guys were going to smooth it over somehow. But I guess it just comes in waves, you know? <laughs> Pun not intended. <laughs> uh, we sidled back to the truck with our treasure trove in tow and sidled in, getting comfy for the ride. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get real comfy, I just gotta go clean up first. <laughs> uh, we took off down the road due south and Chris inhaled everything that he had bought with disturbing rapidity. I had to listen to the sounds of his vigorous mastication, and perhaps it was even on par with the disturbing nature of his vigorous masturbation. <laughs> hey, that rhymes. <laughs> uh, and the wet, slapping sounds of his lips reminded me of other wet, slapping sounds that he had made in that truck before. Oh God, OP, you're getting inside my head, stop! <laughs> Don't do it! Stop! I've probably got PTSD at this point, and you passed it on to all of us. I don't. I didn't even know that shit was contagious. <laughs> <laughs> I found my appetite waning very quickly as I listened to Jabba wolf down its meal. I'm surprised Chris didn't find himself suffering a diabetic coma after he finished, as he turned out the family bag of corn chips to dump the remaining dust into his gaping maw. Ugh. He let out a loud belch that reeked of corn syrup and bile. Oh god, dude. Uh, I was so ready today. I'm like, I know what we're getting into. We're gonna talk about poopy and coom. No, corn syrup and bile is the cringe of the day. Oh god, it's so descriptive. Ugh. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> that beast had required enough sustenance to feed a family of four. However, he was not finished just yet. Last but not least sat the questionable gas station tuna sandwich on the dash. <laughs> Never eat fish from a gas station, especially if you're nowhere near the fucking ocean. <laughs> Uh, I guess California is relatively near the ocean. I still ain't gonna trust it though, man. Come on, why would you pick that? It's gross as fuck. <laughs> Chris eyeballed it greedily while he pondered whether to save it or let it warm up in the sun that beamed through the windshield. <laughs> uh, oh my god. I mean, I'm not against room temperature food, but like actively baked by the sun, a gas station sandwich, and you, you're gonna let it fester in the sun? Oh, Chris. He's gonna get super sick this episode, isn't he? His own gluttony is going to catch up to him. I'm gonna go ahead and put money on that. Well, he grabbed it all right and opened it up. And my nose, ever sensitive to foul things, ever since I started having to associate with this trog, <laughs> Trog got a whiff of questionable fish. It smelled just like Chris did after a sweaty summer night with the lot lizards. And how did that smell? Like regrets. <laughs> <laughs> that smells like ass. Nailed it! Uh, oh my god, dude. He's gonna eat it, 100%. He's gonna get sick as hell. But you brought this on yourself. Watch, OP's even gonna try to warn you right now. And he's not gonna listen because he knows better than everybody. 
I turned over to him and I said, bro, are you sure you want to eat that sandwich? It smells gross. You should probably just throw it away when we get to the next truck stop, man. Hell, chuck it out the fucking window, dude. That thing has clearly gone bad. Chris replied that it smelled just fine to me. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't think twice as he tore into that questionable mayo-drenched atrocity that passed for gas station cuisine. Didn't they have other stuff? What? Tuna salad sandwich from a gas station? <laughs> it's already such bad news. I watch Chubby Emu all the time, all right? He told me about gas station sushi that almost killed a guy. What's going on here, Chris? Surely life ain't that bad for you. I mean, it is, but you can turn it around. <laughs> uh, Chris just cannot take a hint. Maybe he thought I was trying to be mean to him or gaslight him or something. I don't know. Either way, he just ignored me and inhaled that damn thing. Another loud belch erupted from him, more noxious than the last as fermented Piscean flesh now mixed with the digestive enzymes of the poopy coo man's guts. <laughs> it's so descriptive, dude. Oh, I don't know why you're a fucking truck driver, honker dockers. You need to sit down and write a book. I would read it, narrate it. Let's get it on Audible like ASAP. You and me. We got this, buddy. <laughs> I rolled down the window and pretended that it wasn't happening. He'll probably be fine, I said. The guy's so disgusting that he probably has an iron gullet. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed. Otherwise, you're going to have to pull over. He's going to be like, I need the bathroom. And that's going to be his new thing. Instead of needing to shower all the time, he's just always going to need the bathroom. Because it worked that one time that he actually had diarrhea, right? That's where we're headed, right? <laughs> I just hope that I'm wrong. So we went down the road that merry day, and in a couple of hours, I could hear the bubbling inside of Chris's stomach over the roar of the engine and the rushing of the wind. Oh, this is going to be bad. You need to get that boy a bucket. A big bucket! <laughs> I turned to him and I said, Dude, you really shouldn't have eaten that sandwich. To which he responded that he felt fine. And everything was okay. He was just a little gassy is all. As if to prove it to me, he lifted up a cheek from the passenger seat to uh, relieve a little pressure. God, belching and farting. Like, I knew he was... <laughs> uh, Iron Hollow nailed it. <laughs> I knew he was gross, okay? He, I knew he smelled horrible, but... To have him belching and farting just so shamelessly, like, come on, dude, as a human, do better than this. You're in a, a truck cabin. <laughs> you have to exist in the same space eventually. Why are you like this? Every story, my pity for Chris just shrinks a little bit more. So yes, Chris's damp cheeks clap together and he farted the protracted, fermenting, eggy fart of a man with rotten food in his belly. <laughs> oh, God! Uh, help me, Jesus! Help me, Tom Cruise! <laughs> it's so bad. I gagged, first from the smell. It was fucking foul! I glared at him and began to shout. But it, however, was not long-lived. I gagged again. I saw it, looking into the abyss. And the abyss was spreading a wet stain across the back side of the cursed fabric as he passed his slightly solid but primarily liquid gas. The poopy cum man just shit himself. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, I've had it happen, but usually when I'm like legitimately sick or something like that, 
this dude is just doing it to like prove a point. He's like, I feel fine. Watch me fart. And then you just sat in the chair right next to mine <laughs> and shit your pants. A grown man. <laughs> uh, oh my God. What, what happens now? Does he actually go into the back and clean himself? But for reals this time? <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> An uncomfortable look passed on his face as he realized how soggy his butt had become. <laughs> uh, and I began to panic as I rolled the window all the way down into the open position. Oh my god, dude. This is so horrible. Can you stop driving? Can we all get out of the truck while he changes his fucking pants? Does he have a clean pair of pants? I use clean in like quotation marks. <laughs> uh, oh, we were out in the middle of nowhere. God have mercy. There wasn't even a gas station for the next 30 miles in either direction. And now... My co-pilot, covered in his own rancid shit, <laughs> was left there to fester and stew in it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, I can't breathe, bro. <laughs> it's so much. It was so... I was not ready for this today. It's so goddamn much! <laughs> uh, Oh, it really hurts. Uh, ejaculate. That's one thing, but poop? Hell no. <laughs> he ashamedly asked me if we could pull over to the side of the road. <laughs> uh, and like reflex, I wanted to yell that we didn't have time for him to jerk off. Until, of course, the poopy nature of his soggy pants brought me back to reality, full stop. God damn it, dude. It's like walking around with a giant toddler who loves hookers and meth. <laughs> I think I've said that before during this series, but it has never been more true than this very day. Jesus Christ, Chris. Where is your shame? What is wrong? What went wrong in your life for you to turn out like this? I really do just want to have like a deep sit down conversation with him, but I don't think I could stand to even be in the same room as him. <sighs> All right, fine, I said. We can definitely pull over so you can sort yourself out. <laughs> uh, I put the hazard lights on and slowed down to a crawl, pulling over onto the side of a highway shoulder somewhere north of Sacramento. And Chris got up out of the passenger seat and went into the back of the cabin. I screamed in desperation, Not in here! As he fiddled with the elastic band of his shit streak pants, now weighted with the anguish of one spoiled tuna sandwich. <laughs> uh, oh my god, dude. It's so much to deal with. Why would you not take your pants off outside? Now you got the shit slops. It's shit is slopping all over the floor, Chris. <laughs> uh, he's such a mess, bro. I both love it and hate it. I, I can't look away. I need more. <laughs> uh, I hate to say it, but please give me more. He yelled back, uh, where can I change, Dad? And I told him to go outside and clean up. Because the shit is slopping all over the place, Chris. <laughs> and then he better leave his shit pants outside before he came back in the truck. Chris got up, grabbed a clean, in quotation marks, <laughs> just like I did, pair of sweatpants, and he stepped outside. Yeah, you better burn those pants. Shit-soaked pants sitting on the side of the highway. <laughs> uh, America! I waited at the wheel, the engine still idling, while Chris went outside with a few old socks and a 
quote unquote new pair of sweatpants and took care of himself. He's wiping his ass with the old sock, right? That's what we used to do when we were poor. <laughs> you can wash it. I can't afford no toilet paper this month. We using socks. It's a sock month. Is it disgusting? Yeah, sure. But I told you guys I lived in a beard nest and uh, needs must. If you're poor, then you're poor. It's probably a smarter idea to just stick your ass under the faucet, as I learned from living in the Philippines. But I didn't know nothing about the Philippines back in those days. Anyways, this is probably the first time in his life that Chris ever actually cleaned up, like, for real. He was only gone for a few minutes, but just my luck that before those few minutes were up, a highway patrol officer, who must have been on the highway behind us, pulled over to see if everything was okay. <laughs> God, uh, this must be a nightmare. This can't really be happening, can it? <laughs> oh, hello, officer. No, my friend just shit his pants. <laughs> I mean, cops do see a lot of stuff, but I, I would be so mortified, bro. God damn it. I can see his flashing lights in the tow mirrors. And I pressed my temples to attempt to mitigate the oncoming migraine. God have mercy. The man shit himself in the cab, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm still stuck on that too, dude. <laughs> this is a lot to handle right now. <laughs> uh, I love Chris Trucker. No wonder it's the best saga. <laughs> this is legit as hell. Uh, as I watched the patrolman from the side view mirror, he got out of his vehicle and he went around to the passenger side of the truck. He kept going, however, back beyond the shoulder and into the overgrown brush. Oh no. <laughs> I got up from where I sat and peered out the window, trying to see what was happening. Half of me hoped that Chris was getting tased, pants down, Covered in shit. <laughs> ah. uh, oh, God. That would be beautiful. I don't know if that would cut my suspension of disbelief, but I wish you had just said that that's what happened. <laughs> it's too hilarious. Uh, uh, but yes, it was wishful thinking. I saw Chris caught with his poopy pants down in the middle of the brush getting accosted by the cop. <laughs> I couldn't hear a word that they were saying, but the look on the cop's face was just one of complete exasperation and disgust. <laughs> uh, oh my God, dude. How are you ever gonna live this one down? <laughs> We've had a lot of good stories, but this one has to be one of my favorites. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <sighs> I bided my time as Chris most likely explained to Officer Friendly that he had shit himself mid-transit, and rather than stew in his own poop, like he usually did all the time without issue, <laughs> this time it was actually somehow severe enough for him to willingly change his pants for the first time in his miserable life. <laughs> oh, oh, my face hurts, dude. My back hurts. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Please. <laughs> never, never let it end. Oh, Chris was a very animated speaker when dealing with authority figures, it seemed, and I watched as he waved around the tainted garment <laughs> as he wildly gesticulated at the poor patrolman, who must have been choking back vomit, too. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. This is just a rough situation. You put yourself into it. Maybe some people called it in or something. Then again, it all happened pretty fast. Maybe the cop just saw... A naked dude in a bush on the side of the highway. <laughs> the cop shook his head, said something, and 
headed back to his cruiser. I watched him a little bit longer in the mirror before I saw him pull off from the shoulder of the highway and take off down the road. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He doesn't even want to deal with it. He's just like, get your fucking pants on. <laughs> get yourself cleaned up and get the hell out of here. If I ever see you again. <laughs> it was not much later that Chris returned to the truck. I could feel the cab shift as he clambered inside. I turned around to ask him what happened during the exchange, only to be cut short. Chris had brought his poopy sweatpants back into the cab with him. <laughs> uh, I mean, he only has three pairs of sweatpants, but why are you so against buying a new pair, Chris? <laughs> Uh, you do not bring these back in. I thought I made that really clear. The smell cut me off mid-sentence as I retched. I started to shout at him to throw it the hell outside. To which he responded that the cop told him not to litter. I responded that the cop had driven off, dude. And nobody would even know. And that he should just chuck his poopy pants out on the side of the highway and forget that they were ever even soiled. <laughs> uh, I mean, it is illegal, but I'm not going to be driving around with a, a pair of shit-covered panties in the back seat. Even if you have, like, a bag or something to put them into. Not worth it. Get rid of those! I don't care what the cop said. I'll pay the fine for littering. What is it? Couple hundred bucks? Here you go. At least I didn't have to smell poop all the way to Amarillo, Texas. <laughs> uh, uh. Chris thought about it for a minute before he remarked that he didn't want to have to buy new clothes. He, he'd just bag them up and throw them in the laundry hamper until he could wash them. You are such a pig. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, dude. They are beyond saving at this point. You're gonna wash them? You gonna put them back on? <laughs> I had never actually seen Chris wash his clothes before, so I doubted that that would ever actually happen. And instead, Chris's pants, soaked in poop, would just fester and rot in the back of the cab. <laughs> Search your feelings. You know it to be true. <laughs> Search your feelings. You know it to be true. I never had any doubt that that was true. I don't think that he's gonna let go of this $10 pair of sweatpants that easily, though. He's like, no way, man. <laughs> I just bought these a couple years ago. <laughs> Uh, just like the earplugs or something, you're gonna have to go digging through the laundry hamper to get rid of them. But this seems like a bridge too far. I'm not carrying around his poopy panties anywhere. Do not move that goddamn truck until he deals with it right here and now. I repeated at him to just toss them onto the side of the road. But he wouldn't listen to me. Oh my god, Chris, we're not going anywhere. Seriously, I'll sit here all fucking night if I have to, until you decide that, <laughs> that you can toss these poopy pants out. <laughs> I didn't have the heart to throw blows then and there, because he was nasty to the touch, as he usually was, but also because all over his hands, I'm sure there was rotten tuna fecal particulate. <laughs> <laughs> An invisible and threatening barrier that I dared not trespass against. That's one of the only reasons that you wouldn't want to fight the poopy coom man. You are then going to be soaked in both the poopy and the coom alongside him. And that's unfortunate. <laughs> he fished out a trash bag. <laughs> uh, bagged up his poopy pants and set them in the hamper. Oh, God, dude. You are gonna smell it all the way to Texas. Ah, I can't do it. I can't do it! Why is he so attached to them? Uh, I pleaded with him. Just get rid of them! But Chris wasn't having it. He insisted that uh, the bag was good enough. 
Truth be told that despite the plastic, it couldn't seal away the stench forever. <laughs> I took off driving, hiding my misery, and not even 10 miles down the road, I could taste rotten tuna salad poop. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to do this myself. Pull the truck over. I'm going to do this myself. God damn it. And of course, this was only augmented by the constant flatulent sulfuric discharge that augmented the already pervasive aroma. I practically hung out the window as I drove that day. Oh, God, dude. Does it not make you sick as well? I'm pretty sure you're going to have the runs shortly after this. It's in the air. It's in the cab. Did he wipe the seat down? Oh, what's happening? <laughs> when we passed the truck stop, Chris asked if we had time to stop. I figured he was trying to do his laundry for the first time in his life. And today, I did willingly humor him. As we pulled into the next travel plaza we found, Chris started to rummage through the back, and the stinky stank of his fermenting poopy pants aerated around the cabin as that cursed package was disturbed from its rest. <laughs> uh, as soon as he leaves, if he doesn't take that shit with him, you get rid of it, OP. This is not okay. Completely untenable. <laughs> Unforgivable. Unforgivable. <laughs> I told him to get a move on and get it the hell out of the truck. And he sidled out of the truck with his poopy pants in tow and told me he'd be right back. What is he going to do with it? What is he going to do with it? <laughs> well, we had a little time. We were still on a tight schedule and we needed to hurry the hell up. Uh, wishful thinking, though. He was certainly taking his sweet time. And I wondered if he had gotten sidetracked and maybe went to go rub one out in the shower instead of cleaning up those foul pants in the washroom sink. Oh, leave the washroom sink out of this. Find a real washer. Even the washing machine's not safe. Just burn them, bro. It's over. It's over. <laughs> These pants are not savable. Please stop. It must have been a good 20 minutes before he came lumbering back and he had his trusty trash bag by his side. He had also bought some more gas station food. <laughs> I weeped inside, knowing full well that the contents of that bag were still tainted. Oh God, dude. Oh God! <laughs> uh, this is ridiculous. This is too ridiculous. <sighs> How does this end? Where does it stop? <laughs> he came back into the truck and I asked him if he got his pants cleaned up, to which he replied that uh, the laundry machine was busted. I bet if you go check, I bet it's not busted. I bet he's full of shit. It's not even really a bet. If you take that bet, that's a losing bet. So I asked him what took him so long. And he said that he decided to take a shower and get some snacks. All the diarrhea running through his guts must have left him running on empty, you see. Were his pants still dirty? Yes. He didn't even think to put on the faucet and rinse them off in the shower. No, he just left them covered in shit while he beat one out in that shower stall and then dragged them back into the truck. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, somebody help him! Make him stop! <laughs> at this point, I snapped at him. I started to shout, telling him to throw them out of the goddamn truck this instant! He got defensive and said that he wasn't gonna get rid of his pants because they were expensive and they cost him good money and that he would just wash them uh, when he got the chance. Whenever that would happen, God only knew. I, however, was beyond reason. I lashed out, seized the mushy, poopy bag in his hands. <laughs> and attempted to tear it from his grasp so I could chuck it out the window. Oh, that, my friends, was a horrible, 
Horrible mistake. Oh God, OP, no. No! <laughs> it might be doo doo. <laughs> why? Uh, now I see why OP was coming in so hot at the beginning of this tale. I would remember myself running quite hot recalling this tale as well. The plastic ripped open like a damp wishbone made of human excrement, and the cursed garment fell with a wet slap onto the floor of the truck cabin. Oh no! <laughs> this is horrible. This is horrible! That enclosed space contained the essence of eau de toilette and rancid fish, and I wretched. Uh, <laughs> a wet slap of poop. Who's gonna clean this up? Chris! Yeah! <laughs> this is your problem! You created this! Chris even gagged as the pants came undone from their ritual binding, and for a second, we both shared in the agony that he usually inflicted only upon me. Do you see what you've done? Do you see what you've done? Do you feel no shame? <laughs> With tears in my eyes and my shirt over my face, I screamed to throw it out of the window and be rid of it! At which point, Chris, at about the same level of disgust, picked it up gingerly by the waistband to dispose of it. Some of the runny, juicy lumps came down the leg. Oh, God! Oh, it hurts. <laughs> my spine is powder. Uh, and they spilled onto the floor, and I bolted for the fucking door. I needed fresh air. Everything else be damned. Chris eventually got the pants outside, but not before streaking poop all the way to the exit. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> this one is so heavy. This one is so horrible. How did we get here? Okay, OP, give me some more. <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. We both sat outside, panting and out of breath and utterly miserable. I looked at Chris and he looked at me. Well, Chris is the one that broke the silence. You owe me a new pair of sweatpants, OP. Those things aren't cheap, you know. What? You are the one that shat in them! <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> why ever? Even the nicest pair of sweatpants probably don't cost more than 30, 40 bucks, but I ain't buying you a goddamn thing! You're the one that pooped in them! <laughs> uh, I began to recount the entirety of today's tale to him, and I insisted that I would not be buying him squat. He retorted that he was only throwing him outside because my dainty old factories couldn't process the full frontal assault of rancid tuna poops. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do it. Spoiler, I didn't either. And instead, I just marched off to the truck stop and rummaged around inside for something, anything, which could take the cursed skid marks out of the truck cab and neutralize that foul odor. I don't know, dude, you gotta leave the doors open, the windows rolled down, at least a couple of weeks before you can even set foot back in that truck. Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> this truck stop was well stocked, and I found some bottles of bleach and some rags, and I loaded up and came back. Chris was still milling about the lot, staring at the poopy pants that he had unceremoniously chucked into the middle of the pavement when I returned. <laughs> hey, what you thinking about, buddy, huh? <laughs> uh, let it go, dude. I guess Chris doesn't have that much in his life. Where did all your money go? Probably on mobile phone waifu games or something. Ah. Uh, such a sad tale. Also disgusting. Also, <laughs> I hate it. Also, I love it. I don't know how to feel anymore. I think it was just ruining the day that he had to, God forbid, spend money 
on new clothes. You'd think with how crusty his garments usually are, he'd be excited to get something new. But I think in his mind, it's more of a pain because uh, now he'd have to break them in. Oh, and break them he will. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't want to speculate. I walked up to him and pushed the bleach and rags into his chest and told him, get to work. I had to get back to driving. <laughs> You're going to drive around while he's cleaning up his poop? Yeah, I guess we gotta make time. Gotta make some miles here. As we loaded up in the cab once more, and he set to work cleaning the poopy smears all over the floors, <laughs> the bitching and moaning from him was incessant. I swear, the boy never cleaned anything up in his life before, and having to pick up his own mess for the first time it was just difficult for him. Oh, what's wrong, little baby boy? You don't want to wipe up your own poop that you made, baby boy? This is called consequences of your own actions, okay? <laughs> you think I'm going to feel bad for you? Shut the fuck up and let me drive. God, Chris, you're useless. <laughs> the whole time he wiped down that floor... He kept telling me that it was all my fault that there was poop everywhere. And that maybe if I looked out for him and, and told him not to eat that sandwich, uh, which if you'll recall, I did tell him not to eat that fucking sandwich. <laughs> then maybe he would have shit himself and he wouldn't have to buy new pants. Ugh, cry me a goddamn river. Yeah, build yourself a bridge, get the hell over it. <laughs> this is what happened, and, and we're dealing with it in the best way that we can, okay? How bad I'm supposed to feel. <laughs> I regret nothing. I'm glad he did capitulate, though, and agree to wipe it up. Because imagine if he just didn't. He's like, no, we're driving everywhere with poop in our cab from now on. And then OP's forced to clean it up. Ugh, them's fighting words for sure. <laughs> well, eventually, after much huffing and puffing, the beautiful smell of sterile bleach took over the cab, and a stack of spent poopy bleach rags lay in the corner. <laughs> uh, I was gonna make him throw those out, too. With things mostly neutral, we carried on down the road until it came time for the end of the shift, and we humped it into another travel plaza. As I finished my shift's paperwork and got ready to take a load off, I turned around to examine Chris's handiwork. Oh my god. <laughs> you ever make a neckbeard clean up a mess before? I'll give you a word of advice. You're better off just doing it yourself. <laughs> uh, he's terrible at everything. Oh my god. Not only were the skid marks still prominent all over the floor, but he had failed to pick it up and instead just smeared him around with the bleach. <laughs> uh, son of a bitch has hardly gotten rid of them at all. And all across the floor of the cab, I could see those muddy streaks staring back at me. I swear, it was like he dropped his trousers while I wasn't looking and just projectile diarrhea all over the back. <laughs> uh, oh, Chris. Stop it! Get some help! <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Uh, and he used up all the rags, too. Chris decided to get out of the cab to go do Chris things about that time that we pulled over. And I said, you know what? Fuck it. Get out of my hair, Chris. Go smoke some speed or whatever the hell it is that you do. I had a truck cab to clean up. Oh, God, OP. I guess it's, you know, a matter of picking your battles. I would be so salty that I had to do this. I would make him pay for it at some point in the future. Ugh, he disappeared into the evening to find his scuzz, and I disappeared into the truck stop to get some proper PPE to get rid of his scuzz. Fortunately, the truck stop had some gloves for sale, and I picked those up along with a new pack of rags, and I set to work in the back of the big rig, mopping up bleachy, poopy shart. <laughs> uh, 
What a night. Welcome to hell. <laughs> God damn it. When all was said and done, I piled up the rags and the gloves in the trash bag and chucked them into the nearest can. The bleach certainly helped the general fetid ambience of the cab as it was, and tonight, I figured, I would sleep well. Exhausted, mentally and physically, I retired into my bunk and tried to scourge the poopy coo man's poopy pants from my mind. <laughs> Uh, if that's even possible. And that right there pretty much concludes our tale for the day. I hear the open road a call of my name, so it's time to get rolling once more. I'll get back with you guys later with another story about my co-pilot, Chris. What a disaster. And I love the, the ego protection technique. He's like, well, if you told me not to eat the sandwich, you don't remember that? <laughs> Do you not remember when OP said that and you wanted to be a smart mouth? You had something to prove. You're like, oh, you think my stomach's bad? I'll just let out a little fart near you. And he shit his pants and everything went wild from then on out. And even at the end of the day, it feels like Chris won because OP's there cleaning up his goddamn, his poopy streaks everywhere. Oh God, I'm so salty about the outcome on your behalf, honker donkers. This is horrible. Ugh. I'm glad you finally forced him to get rid of the pants. I'm glad he finally had a taste of his own disgustingness, even for just a second. <laughs> but it's just so ridiculous. Every time this story manages to step it up just a little bit further, and I'm going to be really, really curious to see what happens in the next one. Like how, where could we possibly go from here? How can we keep amping up <laughs> the stakes? I'm scared, I'm really scared, but also really excited. So uh, these have been coming out at a really good clip. I hope that you're able to keep it up, man. Thank you so much for writing. I enjoy it, the viewers enjoy it, the subreddit enjoys it. I definitely hope that, uh, you know, we won't have to wait too long, but you take your time, focus on what you need to focus on. I know you're a family man and whatnot, but when you are ready, we will be here. And like I said, I'll front load everything. I'm, I'm ready to go, baby. <laughs> uh, this is some of the toppest tier cringe on the subreddit. Sir Sam, step aside. Wolfbeard, eat a dick. <laughs> it's time for Chris mother flipping trucker to come through. God damn. And everybody will make way because he smells awful. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe. Maybe share the video around if you're brave. This is a heavy one, man. <laughs> Good God. Also, don't hesitate to check out the links in the description. We got plugs, playlists, podcasts, you know, Spotify, iTunes. I'm out here doing all the things, uh, including my social medias, you know, Twitter, Discord, Facebook, and Twitch, where we live stream this one. Yeah, the chat was uh, also feeling like they wanted to puke, and who could blame them, honestly? <laughs> uh, this was such a heavy story to get through. My God! And of course, we've got my Patreon and my gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, generous patrons, whom I would like to thank Jerry, Jerry much, as I do every episode. Uh, so thank you. Why you not being Jerry? Dark Luscious, Harley Owen, Repent the Squirrel, Robert Alawaites, Camille Sarah, Chance for Blue Kraken, Malama Man, Roxanne Wolf, Sim Jerry, Conrad Inge, Kevin Clown, Jerry, Hong Kong, Destiny Piper, Aaron Jerry, Alexis Smith, Broken Logic, Esteban, Draw Leg Side, Mike Vivian for I Wear, you hang in there. Or Gabby Steve, Bing Tom, with a bag of bottles from downtown, Jerry, Bank of Forgiveness, No Forgiveness here. Silent Revolver, PCP, Jerry, the original Jerry, that's the OG Jerry, Jerry. Take Jerry, Jerry's considered a 11 Jerry, the two Jerry's, a tiny boy, the guard chihuahua, I will bite your ankles. You might catch me in the comments for reals. <laughs> a very tired Jerry, a Jesse Jargonian Jerry, and Frankenberry. <laughs> I'm bitching it. <laughs> Uh, X Men XO, Assassin Punk Jerry, Aurora Wildheart, X Men Grizzly, Baby Jerry, Bailey Joy, Bearded Jerry, Bitch Gremlin, Blake the Hero, Flip Flip Jerry, Catholic Jerry, Chelsea Katsuda, Commander J Tank, Confederate Jew, Dennis Dayton, Doctor Lux, Duck, Just Duck, <laughs> Emergency Jewel, Aaron Era, East Park Fifty, Frozen Over Studios, Fire Drake, Gypsy, Adrian BR, I'm some Jerry, I'm the real Jerry, Irish Pirate, So Leprechaun Below Decks, Twisted Torah, Stowaway Jerry, Iron Allo, Welcome to the Fold, Friends, uh, Irradiated Jam, Itchy Nuts, Just Scratch and Pro, Up Pimp and J Chris, J M Coon, Jerry Blacktail, Jerry Knight, Jerry Evil, Jerry the Outlaw on the Trucker, Jerry Beans, Now with Green Apple and Jerry Berry Flavors, Yes, Pen Pending, <laughs> John Hero, John Jerry, Jingle Hammer Schmidt, Crew He, Legend Maker, This Monday, Lord Jerry, Like and Subscribe, <laughs> Lady Dicks, The Next to the Last, Jerry Bender, Marvel Naval, Melgar Destroyer, Metal Factor, Needless King 89, 
Jay, Paragon Soul, Faithful of the Pines, Jerry Kinson, Jerry Beth, Queen's Quaylutes and Quagmires, Ramtide Lacrimates, Rose, Jerry Miller, TSM Kirby, Sarita the Lolita, Sassy Octopus, Sah, Scarlet Kevin, Serena Moore, Sergeant Gaycock, Bring Out the Law, Silo Wimp, Seventy Goodness, Synaptic Boosted, Brilliant Tamago, Tabby the Blue, Taylor Fair, Tenth Monster, Detail Greyhound Dino, The Little Sue, Oh, the Witcher Fusky, Trying to find another bottle to get back to the real world. Uh, you probably don't want to blow into that balloon, not <laughs> suggestion. Uh, Unvisi B, B3 Prime, Vanguard Angel, Viking Jerry, Wiki Tech, Lil Mag, Zephyr the Gargoyle, or Clay, it's Jerry Time, Holds Red X Morpher, Self Reflection, <laughs> that's Luca, uh, Comrade Mooney, Kira, not another Jerry, but he is though, Red Wind, not the Viper Saint, Blessing, Third Stuff, Venom Jerry, Jace Persistent, One Leg Jerry, Stole by Pissant, A Normal Jerry, Activate, Transformation Bell, Head Shine, Tolman, Rider, Beard Grease, I don't understand the reference. <laughs> Uh, Admiral T Tech, Era Alder, another stupid hipster, Atomic Jerry Zilla, Bamsicoon, Bartender Keely, Blueberry and Apple Pie, Broken Spine Horseradish, Cake Jerry, the original, different Jerry, California Jerry Girl, Shepard, Seven Lock, Chicago, the Panda, Cody, secretly a Jerry operative, watch out! <laughs> Corporal Admiral Furry Warrior, Wool Jerry, Crip Titties, D Crazy, aka SDI Jerry, The Fawn Jerry, Death to Tuna, Dopamine Dane Jerry, is Dwarfy Dude, Dose of Alpha, He Cannot, Janitor Jerry, Made It Across the Finland, oh, Only Cost Me a Handful of Bobbles, Pay a Flag to Be a Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Gerald of Rivia, Jerry and Tom versus Happy New Year's Wavy Apocalypse, Jerry the Sussy Baka, Jerry's Mom has got it going on, check out that mustache on Jerry Old Rivera, Jerry Roxas, Jerry Role Playing Game, Judge Jerry and Executioner, Keen Tails, Kid Modelist, Kids Again, Life of Guardian, Lil 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 Raptor, she's my Jerry Pie. Cool drink of water, wouldn't be a surprise. Snary, <laughs> that's Snob Jerry, if you don't know. Snowman, what is best in life? To crush your neck beards, to put the feet to Jesus, to hear the lamentation of their body pillows. <laughs> I hope that one never changes, honestly. Spooky the Rogue, spooky, scary, Jerry Ton. Techno Dubs, the original Jerry, not. To Infinity Jerry and beyond. We going there. <laughs> Unkale, underwater movies, formerly the X card. Unfortunate Jerry screaming at Nookie's latest magical girl fans will make a stop. Throws two liter Mountain Dew. Grow my neck beard. <laughs> it's Jerry time. Holds Red X Morpher. Hygiene. It's Jerry time. Holds Red X Morpher. Humility. <laughs> and thank you, of course, to all my gorgeous one dollar patrons as well. Oh, blessed be the Jerry's and not Jerry's alike. Yes, end of the month is coming up. If you guys would like to support on the Patreon, that's huge. Helps me pay for editor, thumbnails, all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, but if you can't afford to do it right now, don't sweat it too hard, friends. I just appreciate you coming on through, hanging out with me, and I hope that you come on back and hang out with me again tomorrow. In order to do so, you need to keep yourself safe out there. Wash your hands and also wash your pants. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and also take some time out to do something that you personally enjoyed today. Maybe like go watch some more Red X videos, right? Right? Go ahead, do it. <laughs> Always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, and you definitely, definitely deserve it. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye-bye. Uh,